Hello everyone, this is Ashini from Chidda.com. I hope all of you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this video, I'll talk about the ISI and CMI entrances that is coming up next year. How you can start preparing for it right now. What are the books and resources that you can use, the software that students of Chinta are using. And I'll also talk about the new program that is starting from this week. If you are preparing for ISI and CMI entrances, you must love mathematics quite a lot. These are the two most important institutes as far as undergraduate level mathematics, statistics, physics and computer science goals. And one interesting thing about these entrances is they do not have any age limit and they do not have physics, chemistry, biology, other portions of the high school syllabus. They focus only on mathematics. So if you are really interested in mathematics, then one year time is really quite a lot and you can actually prepare for it quite well. Chinta has been preparing for students for ISI CMI entrances for the last 15 years. Last year, we had 13 successes in the top 100 in all over India. So one out of 10 students in the top 100 rank in ISI and CMI entrances were from Chitta. You can check the link in the description for some of those success stories to learn how they prepared. And let's talk about some of the resources that you can use to do well in the ISI and CMI entrance. First, you have to understand that these entrances are quite different from IITJ or other engineering level entrance. ISI entrance in particular has an objective section where you have to choose an objective answer. So out of th th there are 30 problems, each problem has a few options, you choose the correct option. That's how the first session goes, which is the objective section. Thus there, then there is a subjective section where, at the, where usually there are 8 to 10 problems and these problems are really tricky. They are kind of Olympiad standard, plus they have very interesting problems from calculus as well. So, if you want to do really well in the ISI entrance, then you have to do well in the objective section and you have to do really well in the subjective section. So, it's very important that you are practicing writing mathematics every day because ultimately the subjective section will really matter. So, if you're a student of Chinta, make sure you're submitting the homework every week so that it's getting graded by the graders and the faculty members of Chinda. The comments that you receive and the write-ups that you do, they all add up to your preparation. Now let's talk a little bit about the syllabus. There is a lot of similarity of the syllabus of ISI and CMI entrances with the mathematical Olympiads. In fact, if you are not in 12th grade or not a high school pass out, then one way to get into ISI and CMI is through the Olympiad route. That is, if you can do really well in IOQM, RMO and INMO, the first three levels of the real mathematical Olympiads in India, then you do not have to write the entrance of ISI anymore or CMI anymore. You can directly go for the interview. So even if you are in 8th grade, 9th grade, 10th grade, Start preparing for the Olympiads, work really hard and do well and you will not have to worry about what you'll do after high school. You will secure your place in the interview panel and you can go and take the interview. I think you will do really well. If you are doing well in INMO, then you certainly know a great deal of mathematics. So if you want to know more about the Math Olympiad program at Chinta, check the link in the description again and you will find some very useful information. The point about preparing for ISI and CMI entrances and this is true for all the students that we have worked with you have to do it every day that's why we have at least five problem solving sessions every week Monday through Friday and there are a concept class or two at the weekends as well so six to seven classes every week that means you are doing problems every day that's important you do it do problems good problems every day in the class then you go back home and you can also do problems at home. You should do at least two to three hours of problem solving at home and one hour of class, one or one, two hours of classes every day. Let's talk a little bit more about the syllabus. I told you that 
it's similar to the Olympiads. That means you, you have number theory, geometry, combinatorics, algebra. These are the four Olympiad style topics. And you have calculus. Very interesting calculus problems are asked. They're quite similar to the Russian calculus problems. They're also similar to Putnam. So if you, have, if you know about these contests, you know readily what kind of problems you might see. Check the link in the description for some of the past papers and solutions and discussions on them. We not only discuss solutions, we actually give you hints so that you can think about them on your own. So if you're a student of Chinta, make sure that you are taking the Panini 8 software. It's still in its beta version, it's getting developed, but you can practice problems and understand your weaknesses and strengths from the software every day so that you can work on them. If you find uh, that you don't have access to that, you can ask your admin and you can get help and they will set it up for you. That's the first thing, the Panini 8 software. Solve and practice problems every day. The second thing is try to get your hands on some really good books. So the first book that I recommend is Challenge Essentials of Pre-College Mathematics. It has excellent sections on number theory, geometry, combinatorics and algebra. And for calculus, get IA Marin's single variable calculus. There is a section from Locus Problems from the book of Piskunov, which is also really good. Internally, we also use a book from the Russian Olympiads and calculus problem sets. It's called Selected Problems. You can use that. You can also use CAC Zor's Mathematical Analysis Volume 1 and Volume 2, Problems on math Mathematical Analysis. They are very interesting problems. But above all, you should definitely complete the test of mathematics at 10 plus 2 level, this particular problem book, from cover to cover, all problems. If you are stuck on a problem, do not look for solutions. Ask your friends. You are meeting them six to seven times every week. If you are in Chinta, you are almost meeting them every day. Ask your friends, ask your faculty team, faculty members. They're always in touch with you. They're always mentor mentoring you. Ask for a hint. Do not ask for solutions. That's a very good, a bad idea. No one has ever learned mathematics by looking for solutions. The ISI and CMI entrance program for next year is starting this week, actually. I don't know if you're seeing this video sometimes later. You can start actually at any point, but later you start, less time you will have. So start as, at, as early as possible. Check the link in the description. You can always connect us with WhatsApp as well, and we will set up a trial class for you. Thank you for joining in. All the best. And I think you will learn quite a lot of mathematics if you prepare for ISI and CMI entrances. Okay, take care. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. And keep on doing good mathematics. Take care.